Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Gwent. Kind of, because we would have been back to try out a new even fight event deck. However, this is the most imbalanced event currently in the rotation. Completely ruined by a deck that automatically wins every single matchup as soon as you queue in. So this event has no right to exist. But I do have a deck that can win against a lot of other decks and can almost beat the overpowered deck. So let's go give that a look. So today we would be playing a Skelga Onslaught deck that would be especially powerful in this event because it would have higher base power on a bunch of pirates and ships, which we would play next to Croc to get extra value from the Clashing. However, this deck is still almost completely invalidated by Fever Hunters, which is a deck that can queue into any opponent and automatically win before a single card is played, which is why this event shouldn't exist. That being said, I still recorded matches for the past couple of hours, trying to see if it was still possible to beat Reaver Hunters, driving myself insane in the process, or find the rare player not playing Reaver Hunters to see if I could at least win against them. Naturally, those opponents were playing the next most disrespectful, overpowered, and frustrating deck to go up against, Nilfgaard Status Spam, testing my patience and my sanity even more. So none of those matches are very reflective of how this deck would actually perform against a quote-unquote normal deck, and although I did beat the Nilfgaard status spam opponent, I was very angry the entire match because I had lost my patience, so I don't want to post those matches. Overall, I would highly discourage you from ever playing this event. But if for some reason you do choose to do so, I'll give you a brief overview of how this deck would work. So round one, in general, is your weakest round, and you probably just want to keep it short. You can play Croc as your primary win condition because when you play ships and pirates next to him, those ships and pirates will have higher base power in this event, which means they'll deal more damage, giving you better value. So we have a lot of pirates and ships that you can play next to him to make that happen. However, that is something that you may choose to save for round two or round three instead, in which case, in round one, you just play some of those ships and pirates to get them into your graveyard so that you can bring them back in a later round, because we will also, once we win a round, want to use tier once he has evolved that means that bringing those cards out from your graveyard can give you even more value since their base power is going to get doubled and since they already have huge base power in this event that gives you amazing value you could also combine that with croc in the same round potentially bringing croc out from your graveyard using sigdrifa's right that way you could use croc as a win condition in two separate rounds you play the bronze ships and pirates next to Croc with tier on the board and you have incredible value in round three. So in theory, that is an amazing combo that would be really good in this event and I was really excited to use. And I did win against Nilfgaard status spam and nearly won against one reverse deck, but ultimately it came down to multiple units being tied for the lowest amount of power on two separate occasions. Both occasions, I got Ronfid who kept on coming back and I lost specifically for that reason. Basically, it meant there was an 83.3% chance that I would have won the match, 16.6 repeating percent chance that I would have lost the match, and I lost the match. So that was really frustrating. So does that mean that it's possible for this deck to win against Reaver Hunters if you get a little luckier than me? Potentially. But I'm sick and tired of playing the same completely overpowered deck over and over. So I just cannot force myself to do this anymore. So if you do choose to play this event and you do want to play something other than Reavers, then you're welcome to try this deck and I hope you find it helpful. But at this rate, don't expect to see me making any more even fight decks in the future. It's probably best for us all if we just avoid this event altogether. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time.